So it's a new year and you're trying to cut back and trim down the waistline. Okay, then you have this situation. You're stuck at work and your only option is the vending machine. So what do you pick? KHOU 11 News reporter Catherine Whaley shows us which options do the least diet damage. How does that sound to you? Long hours and busy like schedules that, huh? keep the sales staff at this West Houston car dealership on their toes. It's busy. It is a fulfilled day where you're always interacting with people. So it's no surprise workday meals and snacks come wrapped up out of the vending machine just a few steps away from the desk. Well, it's on site. I mean, if you're hungry, you need a snack or you didn't have time for breakfast or something, it, it gives you something for the day. You don't want to be hungry going on a test drive. But what you're getting in convenience, you're also getting in calories. It is a battle. It is tough. So between the candy bars, the cookies, and the chips, it's hard to tell which is the lesser of the evils. You could do that instead of a soda. Dietitian Carol Lapin says the trouble is your options are often limited. Choices that you have in the vending machine are not the best choices, obviously. So for smart snacking, she says opt for the granola bar over the candy bar. They have protein and they have fiber, which is going to stay with you. And instead of chips, go for light popcorn or nuts, which are a good source of energy. Nuts are a good idea, especially if you can get dry roasted. For a meal, try high protein tuna for lunch or high fiber oatmeal for breakfast. And don't just watch what you eat, but how much of it you eat as well. well with anything that you get, you want to check out the portion size. And ask your company to stock the vending machine with healthier options. But they will make changes and you can make requests. Good now, advice for those who want to stay on the road? <laughs> to weight loss success. In West Houston, Katherine Whaley, KHOU 11 News.